you do not have to be a design genius or an expert with Photoshop in order to create a good cover for your Kindle Direct book. Indeed, the Kindle Cover Creator makes it so easy that anybody can do it. Now, I'm going to demonstrate right here, and uh, all of this is found after you enter uh, the dashboard to upload your book. There are paperback details. You put in the details. Then you click on paperback content. And that's where we're at right now. And so we're going to scroll down. A lot of stuff here, very important stuff, but that's not what we're focusing on today. And we get down to book cover. It tells you that you can uh, upload a book cover using a template, but we want to use the Kindle Cover Creator. So we click Launching Cover Creator, and it spins around a little bit. Loading fonts. And you get a screen that says how to use Cover Creator. Choose a design, style and edit, preview, uh, and uh, you can just click Continue. First thing you want to do is choose an image from your computer that you can use. Now they also have some stock images. They're okay, but uh, you're better off choosing something that you know you have the rights to use. So I'm going to scroll down right here. I'm going to uh, click on this, go find my photo. And it is right down here. And this is the photo I want. Now, this is one that I bought the rights to. And so I can use it uh, for books like this as long as I don't print more than 500,000. Now you see it appears on all of these different designs. You've got a bunch of different designs here. Uh, I you can even find other designs over here um, by clicking on that. But I'm going to go with this design right here. And I'm going to click Choose This Design. Clever person that I am. And I will simply click on it. And there it goes. And see, it's already got my title. Got my name up here. It's got my title here and my name here and also spaces for me to add back copy already laid out now this isn't bad but i really want i i this here is mars over here this here is a moon so i'd rather bring mars a little bit closer so what i do is i click on the image it says click notice up here it'll say click to edit or change image so i'm going to click on the image and I'm going to drag it, just drag it over until it, let's see, yeah, that's about where I want to have it. And uh, that's good. And you're saying, hold on, you've got this big yellow spot over here. Not to worry. I just click on choose colors and that is the secondary color. So I'll just click on secondary color and I'll choose a black. The black is black. And uh, click on the choose colors again over here. And there I have it. I have all of my my image. I have the my name, everything already set up. Now, if I want to, I can change the style of my title. I can change that. And I can choose different fonts. Maybe I want Anton. Okay. Or... Maybe I want a uh, philosopher, but maybe I'm going to stick with Ubuntu. I kind of like it. Uh, also, I can have it with a, a drop shadow, and so I'll leave the drop shadow on. Let's see. Yeah, there's the drop shadow. And I could change the the color, but I don't really want to. Uh, and there it is, already done. Now up in this corner, I can replace the placeholder image for my own auth author photo. So just I click there, go back to my computer, go 
back up to another image green and click on photo of me. And it appears right up here. Now I can, uh, up here, there's a biography section. I'm not going to, uh, I, uh, I'm just going to use the biography that I got from my Amazon page. So I'm not going to go over there and get that now. I'm just going to uh, leave this as it is with the, um, with the uh, formatted type that they have here, the placeholder type. I can also put in my text of what I want for my back cover copy. I just take the description that I put on my Amazon page, I put that there. So let's just assume I've already done those two. And now I can click. So uh, it, it says, uh, it, uh, it says exit cover. So I'm going to go back exit cover. And I'm going to go cancel here. I've got to put something in or they won't let me proceed. So let me just go very quickly uh, to another program I have. And I will see if that will let me. And I just type in there and it automatically adjust the type to fit the size uh, and I can and I'm just going to put the the same text down here just to make it easier for you to see okay so now we've got this all taken care of it's all in its little place and I can hit and I can click there and I can click to preview now let's preview this And it's updating, so it's spinning around a little bit here. Takes a moment or two before it finally connects. I'll just cut a little bit of this out in editing. Okay, we're back, and here is the image that I have. Doesn't look bad. Pretty decent cover. So I'm going to say save and submit and that is all there is to it okay now i can come back at any time i want uh, if i want to make changes i can just come back uh, to here and click uh, lodge cover creator And there it is. Let's say I got a new picture. I could uh, change the picture. I could uh, change the copy I have here, update my bio, whatever I want to do. But I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to click save. <coughs> and that takes us back. So you can see there is a, uh, this is a simple method Build your own cover that takes you very little time at all. I hope this has been helpful to you. I'll check back with you a little bit later. And uh, until then, have fun designing your own cover with Kindle Cover Creator.